Tim Birch, a congressman from Tennessee. Um, I've studied this issue for quite some time, and honestly, it just kind of fell in my lap up here. Um, look, I believe our country, at least since 1947, has had a long history of covering this issue up. And this year, we were finally able to hold a legitimate hearing in July with credible witnesses who testified under oath to what they'd seen and experienced. The hearing this year faced a lot of pushback from the intelligence community, members of Congress, and of course our friends at the Pentagon. The intelligence community shut, uh, shut down an amendment I tried to include in the FAA reauthorization bill, and basically it would just require the Federal Aviation Administration to report UAP sightings by commercial pilots to Congress. I was told by the whip that that bill was uh, killed um, by the intelligence community, and I corrected him and I said, do you mean the intelligence committee? And he said, no, the intelligence community. And as they say, when you're over the target, that's when you get the most fire. Um, and it just, like I said, it would just require the FAA administration to report UAP sightings by commercial pilots to Congress. Again, they spend a whole hell of a lot of time and effort and money to tell us something, to, to tell us something exists that does not exist. And so, um, fortunately, another member, amendment I introduced this year, it was to increase transparency. And honestly, this is what this whole issue is about. It's about transparency. On the issue, uh, was included in this year's NDAA Act. It required the Department of Defense to declassify any documents, any documents and records relating to publicly known sightings of UAPs or UFOs that do not compromise the national security of the United States. It all comes down to one word, and that word is transparency. I've been briefed on things I can't talk about in public because it's considered classified. But why are we classifying so much about this, especially if the information doesn't jeopardize national security, and we have departments telling us that they do not exist? Um, we are here today to discuss that. I've got several other notes, but I'll, I'll skip over them because I know y'all probably want to hear from the folks behind me. Um, we had some great witnesses, as I've stated before, but these folks want to talk about more of the transparency and some of the pushback we're receiving from those aforementioned groups. And with that, I'll turn it over to my dear friend, Representative